In honor of the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Bella Wood, the National Museum of the Marine Corps hosted a number of special displays and activities. Check out this interview with two of their role players from the event. My name is Laura Hawkinsmith. I'm the Chief of Education here at the National Museum of the Marine Corps, and I'm here with Madeline Fanta, and she's an education specialist here. Today we're marking the 100th anniversary of the start of the Battle of Bella Wood. We have a, many different activities going on today, including planting 2,641 poppies. Each are individualized with a name of, of a Marine who was killed during uh, April of 1917 through 11 November of 1918. We also have first-person interpretation today, including ourselves. We have uh, curators here with artifacts from World War I, ranging from uniforms and uh, weaponry and art, of, um, art pieces. We have a special preschool play date, which is for young students, zero to five, talking about the true story of Winnie the Pooh and where uh, his story comes from. And we represent Floyd Gibbons, war correspondent to the Chicago Tribune during uh, World War I. And Madeline is representing a newspaper boy in New York City during the war who is uh, selling newspapers, headlining my headline, Marines Win Hot Battle, uh, detailing the Marines' well, victory at Bella Wood. My job is to get the crowd in, get the people interested, and uh, Gibbons, of course, records and um, explains what is going on at the battlefield. Um, we're just really excited to bring this uh, public program to the public and the Marine Corps. Uh, we strongly feel that the Battle of Bella Wood is so important to the Marine Corps history and who the Marine Corps are as devil dogs and so we're excited to bring that history alive today for everyone.